we find the LCM and HCF of two positive numbers by using prime factorization. Correct? In the last class we discussed about what is an idea behind the LCM and HCF of two positive numbers. Correct? And also we discussed, we studied the property of the product of numbers is equal to LCM into HCM. Correct? So now, here we are discussing how do we find the HCF and LCM of three numbers. Okay? The same idea, the idea is not changed. The same idea we follow here. The question is like this. Find the HCF and LCM of 6, 72 and 120 using prime factorization. Okay? Now, we will see LCM and HCF method. We will see the two numbers in the LCM and HCF method. That is the LCM and HCF method. The three numbers in the LCM and HCF method. Okay? But only the difference. In the case of two numbers only, the property satisfies. Okay? The property is not applicable in the case of three numbers. Okay? The product of numbers is equal to LCM into HCF. This property is applicable in the case of two numbers. It is not possible to apply in the case of three numbers. That is only the difference. Okay? So, here, for finding the factorization, the first step, we know what is the first, first step. The first step is factorize the numbers. So, we factorize the numbers 6. Okay? 6. How many times? 2 goes to 6. 3 times. Then 3. 1 times. Correct? The next, we want to factorize 72. Then 72. We take this, we start from 2. 2. 36. Then again 2. Then 3, 1 times, 1 is balanced, 16, 8 times, correct? Then, again 2, 18, 9 times, then 2 is not possible, then we choose 3, 3, how many times? 3 times, then 3, 1. The next, 120, 60 times, 2, 30 times, again 2, 15 times, 3, 5 times, 5, 1 times. Correct? So, I think you got the idea of the factorization. You already know how to factorize. Correct? So, we wrote like this. Therefore, 6 is equal to 2 into 3. Correct? 72 is equal to, how many 2 is here? 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2 into 2 means 2 raised to 3. Into 3 into 3. 3 into 3 means 3 square. Then 72 is equal to 2 cube into 3 square. Okay. Then 120. 120 is equal to how many 2? 3, 2. Then 2 raised to 3. How many 3? 1, 3 and 1, 5. So 120 is equal to 2 cube into 3 into 5. So next we want to find the LCM and HCF. Correct. LCM and HCF. The first defining here HCF. HCF. Okay. Then what is the idea of HCF? The idea of HCF we know that HCF is a product of smallest powers of each common prime factor in the numbers. And that is HCF no one another. prime factorization in the common prime factors in the underline common prime factors in the smallest powers in the product in the other HCF and the correct so for finding HCF what is our first idea or first steps we write all the common factors what are common here in these all the cases three cases two is common correct two is common and other number three is also common so we are writing here HCF of two 6, 72 and 120 is equal to 2 into, correct, 2 into 3, 2 into 3. Then after we choose the powers of 2 and 3. What is the power we need to choose here? The smallest power. Then in all the cases, 
what is the smallest power of 2 here 3 here also 3 but here 1 correct 2 raised to 1 so the least power is 2 raised to 1 or 2 the next we want to choose the least power of 3 correct the least power then this case what is the least power of 3 1 2 here also 1 then what is the least power of 3 that is also 3 raised to 1 so we choose 2 into 3 what is 2 into 3 2 into 3 is equal to 6 correct that means the HCF of 6 72 and 120 is 6 next we want to find the LCM LCM then what is an LCM LCM is a product of Highest powers of co uh, prime factors involved in the numbers, occurring in the numbers, correct? What is LCM? LCM is a product of highest powers of prime factors involved in the numbers. So, the numbers in the prime factorization were in the numbers in the highest power in the product of the LCM. So, for finding LCM, what is first? First, we want to identify what are the numbers existing in this prime factorization. This e prime factorization is the prime numbers. What are they? 2, 3, and 5. In other number, what is there? A number is, any other number is here? No. The numbers are 2, correct? 2, 3, and 5. So, for finding LCM, we want to choose the highest powers of 2, 3 and 5. Then what is the highest power of three, uh, 2 in this all the cases? That one is 2 raised to 3. What is the highest power of 3? The highest power of 3 in all the cases, that is 3 raised to 2. What is the highest power of 5? Only 1 5, the power is 1. Then 5 raised to 1 means 5. Right? But we can't do LCM. We can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. We numbers do it. We numbers do it. We numbers do it. We can't 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 do it. We can 3 and the power in the number let you will power 3 on the 3 raised to 3 on correct then what is the highest power of 5 only 1 5 the power is 1 so 5 so next we multiply this e is equal to 2 raised to 3 means is 8 into 3 square is 9 into 5 e is equal to 8 into 9 72 72 into 5 360. Correct? 360. So, what is the LCM of 6, 72 and 120? The LCM of 6, 72 and 120 is 360. HCF is 6. Okay? There is no change to find the HCF and LCM of 2 numbers and 3 numbers. Ideas are same. I think you got the idea. Okay? For Makai and Dana, and HCM, HCF, in the under numbers, the country come under Paranaram, moon the numbers, the country come under Paranaram, number change in the method and the la, Vithya Samilla, idea under the Nayana. Numbers in the end of Kudu, under the Matramana Vithya Sam. Clear? We are discussing the another idea of another application of LCM and HCF. Now you got the idea. How to find the LCM and HCF of two numbers and three numbers. Correct? And what is the relation between how to verify the relation between the product of numbers and product of LCM and HCM. Correct? So, next we doing the question on the base of LCM and HCF is a question, is an application of the property of LCM and HCF of two numbers. Okay. So, what is the question? The question is like this. Given that HCF of 96 and 404 is equal to 4. Find LCM. 
Okay, the question is very easy, very simple, correct. What is given? Is given HCF of two numbers is given, correct. And we want to find the LCM of the number. This type of question, okay, what is the type of question? Is given, we know in applications, uh, in the property of a LCM and HCF, any two number, LCM or HCF, LCM or HCF, we want to find the remaining ones. That cases always we use the property, the product of numbers is equal to LCM into HCM. Okay. In this type of question, sometimes is given any two number and LCM or HCM. Is given HCM, we want to find the LCM. Okay. Is given LCM, we want to find the HCM. Some cases, is given LCM and HCF and one number. So we want to find the other ones. Okay. So the relation is given in this four, in this four, any three. Okay. In this four, any three, we apply always the idea the product of numbers is equal to LCM into HCM. Okay. For number of property particular under LCM and HCF from product uh, numbers of particular property particular product of numbers is equal to LCM into HCF on another property particular. Like, Padu which other, or a question it, in a little question, Chalapo, done the number there, LCM there, either under the company for him, HCF under the company for him. Allegular. Rand number and down, LCM, HCF and down, either under the gamma deparim, either for LCM under the gamma deparim. Okay? Allegra, Uri number and down, LCM, HCM on the letter, Matta number under the gamma deparim. Okay? Upon LCM, HCF, Rand number, either moon, all and a till, either angle, moon and a thunder. We apply all the cases. We apply all the We apply all the cases. We apply all the cases. We apply all the cases. We Product of numbers is equal to LCM into HCF. Okay? So here, what are given? Here is given the numbers. The, what are the numbers? 96 and 404. 404. And HCF is 4 and we want to find LCM. Okay. Here we know the two numbers. We know the HCF. Correct. Then we want to find the LCM. So what is the first idea? We want to write the property. What is the property? So we are writing product of product of Two numbers is equal to LCM into HCM. Correct? The product of two numbers is equal to LCM into HCM. So we are writing here, we choose the numbers are A. A is equal to 96. B is equal to 404. Okay? And given HCF is equal to 4. Okay. Then we are choosing the first number is equal to 96. Second number is equal to 404. And HCF is equal to 4. So we apply the property. Then how to write? Therefore, product of two numbers. Then what are the two numbers here? The two numbers are 96 and 404. Correct. So, 96 into 404 is equal to LCM into HCF. So, LCM into HCF. What is HCF? 4. Okay. So, next. What is next? We want to find the LCM. So, for finding the LCM, what is the next? We want to transpose 4 to the left side. Correct. LCM on a country together, LCM out of each other, in a transpose change. So, therefore, LCM is equal to 96 into 404. If we transpose 4 to left side or 
next side of the equality sign, what is the changes? That becomes by 4. Correct? By 4. So, it's possible to reduce 4 and 404. Very easy. What do you get? 4, 4, 1 times 0, 1. Correct? Then 101. So, we get here 96 into 101. Correct? 96 into 101. What is 96 into 101? The 96 into 101 is equal to 9696. That means 9696. So, what is the LCM of these two numbers 96 and 404? The LCM is 9696. Okay. Then here is a very important type. Then we apply the property. What is the property we apply here? Product of two numbers is equal to LCM into HCM. Okay. When we apply this property, is given two numbers, LCM and we want to find the HCM. Okay. In the case of LCM, HCM and two numbers, is given any three of them. Okay. And we want to find the remainings. And that all the cases we apply only the idea product of two numbers is equal to LCM into HCM. Okay. Now, we property of the LCM, HCM, random numbers. This is the property of the Product of two numbers is equal to LCM into HCF on the parina property which on a chi under the okay. Then is an idea to apply the property product of two numbers is equal to LCM into HCF. I think you got it this one. Already we applied some properties of fundamental theorem and LCM and HCF here. The one more application of fundamental theorem, the question is like this. Explain why 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. Correct? Question is like this. We will say that number 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1 is the number. Composite number on the parayana, and the one down of the name of Parayamandi Patanada, and the other one Okay? For saying this one is a composite number, we apply the idea of fundamental theorem. Okay? Then what is the idea of fundamental theorem? The fundamental theorem says every composite number is possible to write as a product of primes, and this factorization is unique. Apart from the order in which prime factor occur, fundamental theorem is that all composite number in a number is in the product of the term and the pattern. Prime numbers in the product of the term and the pattern are not correct. Correct? So, if you want to prove this number is a prime uh, composite number, we want to show there, so we want to show here what is that? This we is possible to convert this number as a product of primes. Right? P number in a composite number in the Vulikan la Karna, Melanga Vulikan Patum, Vulikan the Dandu Gunda in the Telikan, Namadanda Paranamadi, Namadanda Telichamadi. E number in a prime numbers in the product at the Mandi Patum in the Paranamadi, in the Telichamadi, in the Karnichamadi. Okay? So, if possible to convert this number as a product of primes, then it is very clear that number is a composite. Because it is only possible to write the composite number as a product of primes. So, okay. So, we started like this. First, we start in the numbers. What are the numbers? 7 into, 6 into, 5 into, 4 into, 3 into, 2 into, 1 plus 5. Here we are not doing the direct multiplication. Okay. Here we have two numbers. The first one is this one. The product of these numbers. 
and the second one is 5 and we want to add together correct we want to add together so we are not multiplying first and adding we do it like this in the both side of the plus symbol the addition we have a common factor correct plus symbol in the rendu bhagath namaku common aayittu or number kaanan vendi perum allengil adu common factor undu ennu parayan vendi perum what is the common factor here the common number is 5 so as usual we take the common in out okay ella ipodi cheyum pole nammal endu cheyunu common factor porathey kedu 7 5 then what are remaining 7 into 6 into 5 goes to out then remaining 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus in 5 we take 5 out then what is remaining 1 correct 1 so next we want to multiply this one so this multiply directly 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 there's no problem but I multiply like this 7 into 6 42 okay 12 into uh, 4 into 3 12, 12 into 2, 24, 24 into 1, 24, plus, plus 1, 45 into 42 into 24 plus 1. I am not taking 5 here to multiply because 5 is already a prime number. So, I am not taking the 5 to multiply, then I keep it same like this, 5 into 5 into, what is the product of 42 into 24? The 42 into 24 is equal to 1008. Plus 1. So, is equal to 5 into 1008 plus, 1008 plus 1 is equal to 1009. Correct? So, we want to check, we write here uh, this number as a product of 5 into 1009, correct? So, we want to check, these two are a prime numbers, we know that 5 is a prime number, then only we want to check about 1009, 1009 is a prime number, the number is 1009, correct? 1009. So, the 1009 the number is end with the, the digit 9, correct? So, is generally, is uh, very easily how do we check? Is possible to divide by any other number, how do we check? The number is end with the digit 9, then mainly is possible only to 3 or 7, correct? 3 or 7. So, is divisible by 3, is possible to divide by 3? 3 times. 9, 1, 0, 3, 9, 1, 19, correct? 19 is not possible, is not exact going 3 in 19, correct? So, is not possible. Then we are taking about the 7. 7 is possible. 10, 1 times 7, 3, 30, 4, 28, 2, 29. It is not possible to exactly divide, divisible by 7, correct? That means, this number is, is not possible to divide by 3 or 7. That means it's a prime number. So, we converted 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 as a product of prime numbers. Okay. The product of prime numbers. Therefore, the given number 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 is composite. Is composite. Why? Because we converted, we wrote it, this, numbers, this number as a product of prime numbers. Is it clear? And the other number is the composite term of another. Karanam, Namaka Tandarik and the number in a number eight in the formula KD. Prime numbers in the product in the formula KD. For fundamental theorem, Pragaram, where a number in a 
primes in the product at the moment of Kadian and Mingil are number and the number I reckon. Composite number I reckon. Karanam, fundamental theorem for another composite number in a mathrame, eight in the product at the moment of Patulu. Primes in the product at the moment of Patulu. Apo Yuda, Ithana number in a prime numbers are five in the aim, thousand nine in the aim. Product at the moment of Kadian the wonder, E number is the number under the Parino. Prime number, uh, composite number on the parayam.